Accessify's Quick Form Builder lets you very quickly create an accessible form using HTML or XHTML and with CSS rather than table layout. It does this in four simple steps. In the first step, you simply list all the fields that you wish to capture. This might simply be a list of text inputs, but in the next step you're able to define whether they are text areas, checkboxes, password fields and so on. Once you've entered all the details, you simply press the button at the bottom that says Next Step. In Step 2, the fields that you previously entered are relayed back to you, but this time you're given the option to select whether it's a text input, text area, checkbox, radio buttons or password field. You can also indicate whether any of the fields are required, or you can mark all of them as required using the checkbox at the top. If you choose Select or Radio Buttons, an additional text area appears, which will allow you to enter the various options in the selection box, or the various options that you need for your radio buttons. By pressing the Required Field checkbox, this will create a class of Required for each of the inputs, which can be used later for CSS styling or JavaScript for validation purposes. In Step 3, you have some more options regarding the output so you can choose whether to output as XHTML or HTML. Here, you can also ask the tool to create name and ID attributes based on the label text for each field, which you'll see in a moment. For required fields, you can change the default text that will appear as a title attribute. Here it says this is a required field. We're going to change that to simply required. Now we're at the final step and you're basically done. The markup is ready to copy and paste now. There's also some simple CSS to get you started. This will create the structure for your form and lay it out nicely. If you've indicated that a field should be required, two things will happen. First of all, it'll output an additional class in the row for that field and place a title attribute saying required it will also place a class of required in the input itself. This is important for the JavaScript validation that you will need to run.